Crashing. Crashing with friends. Crap, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Welcome to Crashing with Friends Podcast, podcast. <laughs> yeah, Crossroads Remix. All right. We got Matt, we got Kyle, we got Connor, we got Steven, not Spencer. Yep. <laughs> we got class. Yeah. <laughs> I, Kyle, how's your weekend gone? How's your weekend going now? I heard you went disc golfing over the weekend. Now you're going to stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it's been a good weekend, man. Uh, yeah. Yesterday you hit me with a disc. Yeah, oh. bro. How hard? Um, Pretty freaking hard, dude. Driver? Yeah. Yeah. And back I, of your head, boy? No, yeah. it hit me in the arm. Oh, I was, yeah. uh, right I was like, kind of like right next to a bush. He was... It was uh, a that hill in Bella Vista where you're kind of like throwing down a hill and then the hole goes up a hill, you know? Is it the one where I threw that disc and it went super far right that one time? No. No? Okay. Mm. The inverted for Trump? No, you know there's no. A- <laughs> no I, it's the one Never right. Saw that disc again. It's the one right before that one. Okay. Okay, yeah. And uh, really steep down then uphill. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then that, and that downhill is just nothing but. Tall grass and shrubs. Mm-hmm. But back to me talking about it. Um, <laughs> Describe the thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I threw a really good drive, and uh, I, did, I, th- I thought it was worse than it was. You know what I'm saying? I thought it landed in the those. thick stuff, but it actually landed in the valley down below. Mm-hmm. So that was just off my T-pad drive. So I'm sitting there looking in the thicket, trying to find this thing, and then... Uh, got nailed. Got nailed. Jackson didn't say anything, just threw the disc. <laughs> As I'm also looking for my disc, he just decides I'm going to throw a disc. <laughs> I just didn't think he was there. Gosh. He was right behind this like shrubbery or tree. Huh. So he like, just looked like tree. a tree, yeah. And I just couldn't, I could not see him at all from where I was throwing. I was like, I was know. already pissed because I got cut the fuck up looking for my disc. Uh, so yeah, take- like I was looking down and just out of the corner of my eye, something red, and I just happened to look up and bang hits me in the arm but luckily i've been working out so my core is my <laughs> nice. fibers and my muscles are the stronger they took it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, you can't, i don't even think i've got a mark or a bruise or anything no how heavy are those things so much iron dude. 175 milligram or grams oh yeah. okay yeah yeah that's how wow. they weigh them that's how <laughs> in grams <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. huh yeah, dude. Pounds. 175 pounds. pounds. Yeah, dude. It's <laughs> like, so okay, he's messy. Yeah, uh-huh. dude, it hurt. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't like pissed or anything, but uh, it just, it definitely shocked me. It's the second time I've been hit with a disc and it actually hurt. You know what I'm saying? Blacked uh, up for a minute. Rage. Yeah, I, I owe him one for that. Hey, you hurt Kyle, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, you finally hurt me, dude. Good job, man. <laughs> finally hurt me. Better you, watch your back. You got what you wanted. <laughs> uh, finally made a God bleed. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Matt. I appreciate. It. <laughs> but uh, man, uh, we were at Anakin's. Um, hello, 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 hello. We were at Anakin's. <laughs> Dude, the audio for some reason sounding so fucked up. Everybody's mic is sounding so fucked. Really? I'm taking the headphones off. It's because you're, uh, you're using a splitter, right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> no. It's got something to do with it. No. Probably. No. <laughs> no. No. But uh, we were at Anakin's, um, he had like his, he's in band, so we had like his third concert of the year or whatever, and he won Most Improved Musician, which was pretty awesome, nice. being a parent, you know, it's always cool to see your kid. The next Dave Grohl. Yeah. What'd you say? I said the next Dave Grohl. Oh, I thought you said the next egg roll. I'm like, egg roll. He's egg roll. No, oh, man, egg roll, dude. He's like a great musician. Egg roll. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to call time. your son egg roll for the rest oh, of his life. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What up, egg roll? <laughs> hey, it, was, it was a pretty cool event, but the highlight of the event, dude, I heard these old people and this younger person that wanted to sound like they know what they were talking about. They were like, uh, this old person was like, what? predict it. What? Why does my text sometimes predict what the next text is gonna say? And she's the, the, the younger person's like, well, "Mama, that's AI." Uh, <laughs> I was like, that's AI. This over is there. the world we live in, dude. Where everybody's just calling simple things AI. Oh my god, it's not AI. It's just simple algorithm predicting your next like. It's just, 
It's yeah. just seen what you're going to say a thousand times. So it just knows you're going to say, I want the chicken. You know, mm-hmm. it just knows the next word's going to be the chicken. Someone says thanks. It says you're welcome. Exactly. Yeah. I'm just like, good Lord. Mm. He's, I almost wanted to turn around and go, no! <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't fucking know. But uh, that was the highlight of that. Um, some other notable things. Me and Jackson watched the movie Abigail together. Yeah, that was dope. What? Yep. Was it good? Yeah, it was pretty good. Because I was interested in watching it. Say by the guy who made uh, Ready or Not, he also made okay. Scream, like the just one that's titled Scream. Oh, And oh. he made Scream 6. Scream and Scream 6. Huh. Yeah, there's one of them that's just t- titled Scream. Right. Like It might have been when they were trying to do the soft reboot or something. Right. But yeah, probably. It was pretty good. Um, if you've huh. seen Ready or Not, there's a lot of, uh, towards the end of that movie, there's a lot of like people exploding. Oh, yeah. And that starts happening towards the end of Abigail. Just a lot of just what? people exploding. <laughs> okay. It, which is pretty baller to see, honestly. It went in a direction I did not figure it was going to go. It kind of figured it was going to be about the young girl the whole time. It kind of went in a different direction. I'm not going to ruin it. But, uh. yeah, it was it was pretty cool, actually. It threw me some curveballs. Huh. I, I give it probably about a 7.5. Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, but give it a little 7.5. Hmm. Uh, Connor, how's your week been going, man? It's been okay. Nothing to write home about. Um, Would you write anybody about it? I feel like I've been working (laughs) outside of work quite a bit, just on, like, house stuff. Um, Yesterday I had to help a friend move some stuff. It was very exhausting. Um, Moved a piano? Moved a piano up to the third story. Um, Yeah, the first uh, flight of stairs had 19 steps. The second... (laughs) Flight had nine, and then a quick turn, and then another nine. He counted them. Um, quick turn. Did it turn into a long turn when you were actually moving the stuff? Was it a no. wide turn? <laughs> it was. Uh, it was pretty difficult, as you would imagine. Um, we had it on a dolly. Um, it wasn't like a grand piano, so don't have to worry about that. But it was like a big wooden piano. A, a big wooden piano, probably. Between three and four hundred pounds. You so know? was it the kind of piano that music teachers have in school? Probably goes up against the wall, yeah, kind of like a training exactly. piano. Mm. Yeah, and it, it looked full size to me, man. Uh, yeah, dude, it was it was no joke. Um, I was one of the, you know, guys on the top of the dolly getting it up, you know, doing the pulling, you oh. know. And as you can imagine, I felt like I was pulling about forty percent of that thing, if not <laughs> more than forty percent of it, because. Yeah, dude, it was it was like dude exhausting. I and also like we started out we couldn't even get up one step and I had to be the one like one person said we're not pulling together and I'm just like fuck it. And I'm like one, two, three, go and I was just the one that did the the count the whole time. Um but yeah, aside from that, did like an elliptical, um, put that up there. We got this washer, but we didn't have to take it up. We just had to put it in this dude's truck. Um but yeah, it was just like a, a long Half day of, you know, doing that shit, man. It sucked, uh, but yeah, glad to glad to do that for a friend. Um, Was there any point where you like, do you need this piano? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could burn it right here in the parking yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. God <laughs> dang, you gonna play this thing ever? Like, <laughs> right? No, she, she she plays it, so I'm not gonna be that guy. But uh, yeah, it was. It was quite a, a day, and then I ran a mile afterwards, so I was I was pretty done after that. And then, um, yeah, just like a lot of, a lot of house stuff. I gotta spray my house for like bugs. I want to do the outside. I've already got the bug spray. Just got to do it. Cool. Um, yeah, not really playing a lot of games. Just kind of just after being really tired, watching like Battlestar Galactica. Um, the diet's still going well. Not eating bread or pasta or rice or anything like that. Just protein, a lot of nuts. So yeah, it's it's been a really boring week, man. Um, nothing cool. Matt, uh, pretty boring week. Other than let's see, I had Mother's Day Sunday, so uh, got to see uh, my immediate family. My brothers came up and we gave a bunch of stuff to our mother and we all hung out that was pretty cool uh monday i had a big day i ended up going to the dealership with uh i have i had a 2020 sonata 
and then I traded it in for a uh, 2020 Mustang GT Ooh. Uh, manual six speed. That's Matt's speed right there. Yeah. Uh, that's something you would do. Heck yeah. Uh, like, a, it, it's like more of my type of car. Even my boss was telling me like this past week, she's like, She's like, yeah, with the old cars, like I was expecting you to have like a car seat in the back seat. And, <laughs> yeah. Like I was like, I don't, even, you know, I don't even have any kids or anything like that. That never really came close. And so, she's like, with this Mustang, it's like you. It seems more like you with it. And so, I do feel like, uh, like more like myself with it. To be honest, it's kind of weird admitting that, but <laughs> <laughs> it just. Uh, it's a big step you made today, man. <laughs> It's uh, it's it's just who I am. I like my sports cars, and I like my cars that I can customize. That I, that I love the clean and stuff. Mm. Hell yeah, you can detail it all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gonna control yourself a little bit more in this one or what? Yeah, I, I've actually been, like, like the urge to trade it in or like controlling mm. myself, like speeding and driving like a maniac. Yeah, speeding, driving like a maniac. Yeah, I yeah. so like. With my job at FedEx, they they don't tell you about it, but they uh, they do like their background checks. They do like a, a very thorough one, like monthly, pretty much, and uh, they'll see if you've got like any infractions, like like speeding, seatbelt stuff like that, mm. wow. and uh, like you could lose your job that way. So I drive it like a like a baby, and plus mm. like. I've drove like I've driven vehicles pretty hard in the past, like constantly on the daily, and it, it just like you know it just tears the shit out of them. And so I've kind of slowed down like with driving. I've gotten more cautious with my job, like as a professional driver and everything. So a transporter. Yeah. <laughs> yes, a transporter. I I drive. <laughs> That's what I do. I drive. I drive. <laughs> oh man. So but, did you finally quit drinking and driving? Oh. Yeah, I just instead started drinking, uh, driving and drinking instead. Okay. Uh, That's right. The uh, other way around. Yeah. The other way around because the law says drinking and driving. Uh, but not driving and drinking. Right. Exactly. I'm not drinking or I'm not driving under the influence. I'm drinking under the influence. Mm-hmm. See, it's a keyword change. Gotcha. But I don't drink, though. I don't. <laughs> I do not condone drinking and driving either. <laughs> I also do not condone texting and driving. Which right. There's mm. also another thing I like about the six speed is keeps me off my phone. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't do anything else mm-hmm. besides. No. Dude, it's hard to eat. Yeah. Anything in those. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gotta stay focused on the road, which that's a good thing I saw this lady taking a left hand turn through an intersection with her phone in her face man I'm like dude left hand turns is the most dangerous turn out there mm-hmm. through an intersection dangerous spot on the road and you got mm. your phone up man like what are you doing yeah like I don't condone that a mere mm. second away from the road you never know what's gonna happen yeah it's it's crazy but uh that's pretty much been my week I, uh, also, like last time I was on, I said I was getting back into car detailing. Still getting back into car detailing. I got a bunch of stuff coming into the mail today, like a bunch of products I'm going to test out on my car, my parents' vehicles, and stuff. So th- that's know. always fun. I'm excited for that. But uh, that's pretty much all I got. Work was work. Uh, we had a guy quit the other day. No two weeks or anything, but that's whatever. So we'll be shorthanded <laughs> for a little bit. But I could always use the money. You need an extra precision driver? Uh, Jackson's your man. Yeah, Jackson. Jackson? Think you could do it? Think you could cut the FedEx team? Yeah. What? The only thing on my record is not, like, freaking... Not driving fast like, enough. Like, updating my tags. Uh, <laughs> my tags. <laughs> we'll be, they do that for you, so you ain't got to worry about that. Cool. <laughs> With the trucks. Just apply on Indeed.com. Yeah. Mm. Indeed. Yeah. And if you have any questions about the drug test, just let me know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you got something in your eye there. <laughs> yeah, eyelash. Uh, yeah. Uh, Steven, how's your week going, bro? Uh, pretty good. A little busy. Well, not too bad. I think Friday, uh, my girlfriend, Bernice, she took me to the gym for the first time in a very long time. And it was grueling. She worked my ass off. And um, 
Is she like I'm a physical still trainer or something? Huh? Is she like a physical trainer or something? Uh, basically, she has. She whipped out her phone. And she has a list of these things, and it's a huge list. And we're doing. I don't. I don't remember what she was saying. Weird words, because mm. I don't go to the gym. And we're going to use this machine and that machine, and uh, stuff like hip flexor. And yeah, uh, we were doing it yoga. Works like first. riffs. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sets. Yeah. <laughs> Intervals and stuff. I'm like, I what? I don't even know how to use a treadmill. Oh, I get, the, I get the rest part. Yeah. We're worried about the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I want to say we were there for like an hour, maybe more. Damn. Something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's but good. yeah, she worked me. I was sweating. I was you dying her for it, right? Huh? Did you thank her for it? No, oh. no, I did not. <laughs> but I am happy I did go. That's for sure. <clears throat> Where uh, are you guys working at it? Uh, I think it was Planet Fitness. It was in Web City. It was a very fancy one. Cool. Very yeah. fancy. A lot of bros walking around? Uh, not too many. Uh, but they were all using the machines that, we were, that she was wanting us to use. So there was a lot of doing side stretches and exercises as well. <laughs> so a little bit of extra stuff. Heck yeah, man. But uh, yeah, she worked me pretty good. Where did I do Saturday? I can't even remember. I think we, uh, oh, damn. She worked me that hard. I don't even remember Saturday. <laughs> Knocked you out. Oh, man. yeah. We, uh, <laughs> less than 24 hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, no, no, no. Uh, we went to a birthday party. Uh, first, I went to the range with Kiefer. Uh, finally got my red dot sighted. And like I was telling you, my magnifier is trash. Uh, well, it's not trash. It's not meant for my platform. Uh, so I'm going to have to look into something else. Your platform's good enough, even. My platform's good enough? Yeah, Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I think it's good enough. We love your platform. Strong. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> strong foundation. Yeah, strong foundation. Uh, what I mean by that was it is an AK, not an AR. Okay. Oh. That's what I meant. But um, I <laughs> don't know why I said platform, to be honest. But we liked, we liked uh, it. yeah. And then after that, we went to one of her friend's birthday parties. And uh, I basically just playing, played uh, corn dog or cornhole. Sorry, corn dog. <laughs> cornhole. Corn dog's my nickname. For, <laughs> is it really? Uh, uh, one of the joke <laughs> nicknames that some people have sometimes called. Yeah, really? Jackson, we call him Corn Chub well, Nutterworthy. No. What? Yeah. My real nickname is Con Dog. Some douchebag will turn that oh. into Corn Dog, and that's when I pop him. You know gotcha. I will never make that mistake. Okay, you're good. You're I good. hope. Um, call me corn dog. What's my nickname, Kyle? Corn, corn Chad McNutterworthy. McNutterworthy. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Yeah, corn we call that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Corn Chad McNutterworthy. Corn Chad. Corn Chad. Chad. No. Chadley. <laughs> McNutterworthy. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now I'm here. Um, mm. Yeah. Pretty, pretty tame. Pretty tame. Who hasn't gone? Have you gone, Jackson? No, you, want us up, you want us to come up with a, a, a hill, hillbilly nickname for you? For me? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah, dude. A hillbilly uh, nickname. Spancers. Spancers. I like stir fry. Stir, stir fry. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I love stir fry. You got Billy. stir fry over here. <laughs> I don't know. Big Billy Watermelon. Big Billy Watermelon. I That's like just it. just one thought. I'm trying to get going here, guys. Big what Billy it? Watermelon? Okay. I'm, tr- um, I'm trying to think. Some of my nicknames growing up was Bigfoot uh, or the Abominable Snowman because I was so hairy throughout high school. Like I had a full beard and everything. Damn, you're one of those kids? Oh yeah, I was one of those. Yeah, I had to shave like freshman year to oh my because God. the chin straps back in football would hurt these stubbles, you know? <laughs> just like, oh, screw this. I Damn. have to shave. Freaking man, dude. The testosterone yeah. was just pouring out of you. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like having a beard. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. beard hurts. Uh-huh. I like so, your name, Connor. Dude, I just want someone to uh, contribute here, guys. Mm. Contribute to this nickname. Where mm. are we going with it? How about Provolone 
Water Malone. Water Malone. Ooh. Water Malone. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Provolone, Water Malone. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Provolone. Malone. <laughs> <laughs> Malone. Oh, jeez. Malone. <laughs> water Malone. Provolone, Water Malone. Pro Malone, Water Malone. Steve Owen. Right. Yep. Pro Malone, Water Malone, Steve Owen. Cola. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to turn into a tongue twister now. <laughs> Jack, how's your week been going, dude? Ah, uh, man, it's been going pretty good. Uh, disc golfing was pretty fun yesterday, except for all the times I kept throwing out into the woods. <laughs> it seemed like my disc was like, you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to land right next to a pricker bush for you. Mm. Like, I got cut up so much, man. And when I got home, I had to pick like four five ticks off of me. I don't understand how you get so many ticks on you, dude. It's crazy. I've got that good blood, man. Good blood. Man, man, sweet, that sweet one tick blood. the whole huh. day. It's crazy. Do you eat any garlic ever? Do you like garlic? Um, I mean, I'm not opposed to it on certain things. You eat a shit ton of garlic. I don't think I could eat a shit ton of garlic in any really situation. He doesn't control his garlic consumption. Oh, yeah? Some other people control it for him. Oh, oh, yeah. Tell your mom to put more garlic in your food. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> <laughs> he has no control. <laughs> Why is that? Like, there's vampires out there. <laughs> vampires, yeah. There's vampires. They're teeny, they're tiny, and they try to get on me every single time I go yep. to disc golfing. They're out there. <laughs> they don't adhere to night and day. <laughs> right. They're day walkers, they are. <laughs> so you guys didn't bring... But, you guys didn't bring spray? Nah. No. Mm. Oh. Nah. Mm -hmm. See, Connor brings a spray, and Connor didn't come with us this time. <laughs> okay, I see how it goes. So we were um, like, oh my god, what are we going to do? <laughs> Have you guys I was super, super concerned about the bugs out there. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't that concerned either. Like, I didn't, I just didn't expect to be thrown into high shrubs as mm. much as I did, you know? Yeah. I'd be more concerned yeah. about poison ivy out there than oh, yeah. bugs, um, just oh, yeah. based on my one experience there. Yeah, Those I've got snakes. quite a bit of that all. Over my legs right You got now. that? Oh, yeah. Especially, like, right around here in my ankle area. That's the worst. They're not seed ticks. Not seed ticks. It's poison ivy. Uh, it's like, yeah, if you throw into the woods on that course, you got a high chance of getting poison ivy, man. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I got home and cleaned so hard. <laughs> better hope you did. Did you clean your car, too? Hmm. Wipe down all the hard surfaces on your car? No, I wiped down my arms. Dead. What do you wipe down with? Is there soap like and a, water. just soap and water? That's it, and it yeah. neutralizes the oil. Mm -hmm. huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and if you like any, like say if you got the oils on your skin or on your hands, and like you go into your car and you touch your steering wheel, the oils could still be there. It could, right? Like, pretty much anything that you would touch between yeah. contracting it and washing it off, that you need sense. like Clorox wipe that. You know. Oh yeah. You want to hear a funny story? I ruined a lot of people's days when I was uh, at a baseball game. Whenever I was little. Uh, I found this box of kittens that were abandoned by the side of the road. And uh, I don't know how old I was. I was little. So I take all these cats and I was like, okay, heck yeah. I'm going to find homes for all these cats. Because there's a whole bunch of kids at this baseball game. So I'm like, I'll go over there. So I just run over there with this bunch of cats and I'm petting them, handing them to everybody. And I give all the cats away. I get home and I'm feeling really, really itchy. <laughs> And I feel big old whelps on my arm in circles. And I realized, oh no, I gave all of these people ringworms. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so. In this generation, they would have marked yeah. you as a terrorist. Yeah. <laughs> I just gave so many people this horrible. Parasite. Yeah. Damn. So. And I, I was covered in it. And so was my family, too, because I also showed them. So. <laughs> so everybody got covered in ringworms. It was awful. How did you get rid of it? Just say antibiotics. Um, I think antibiotics. Still got to this day? Uh, no. No, I did not get any scars. When you um, went to the doctor, did you see, like, all the people you gave cats to? <laughs> right, yeah. All what those people. For? Yeah, no. Uh, I think I just... Yeah, I used ointments and covered it up with, like, duct tape or whatever. I did the same thing when I had farmer's warts. So, I don't even know how you get those. 
From farming. From farming, yeah. <laughs> Going around barefoot, yeah. I was quite the savage growing up, living on the farm. Did you ever have any uh, hardcore wrecks or anything? Hardcore wrecks? No, nothing really serious. Um, no broken bones or anything? I've broken my left wrist and my pinky before, but that's really about it. How'd you do it? Uh... How did I break my wrist? I don't even know how to describe it. Train was, coming at you and you put your hand in your Yeah. <laughs> You're like, ow, dang, that hurt. No. <laughs> like, stop. Right. <laughs> no. Uh, no. That's enough. It was much more epic <laughs> than that. I, uh, I don't know how, I was very little. That was another, another story about me being little. And I uh, was at school and the bell rings to go back inside. I was playing on the blacktop. So I go running back, just sprinting, and I didn't notice it, but a ball was rolling towards me, and I slipped on it, mm. and I came down like I was, you know, Pledge of the Allegiance, <laughs> and I just fucking ate it head first. Mm. Face was fine, wrist was not, and uh, yeah, messed up my wrist, and pinky I broke from catching a fumbled football, and I got dogpiled. <sighs> Did yeah. You, did you complete the reception though? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Put tape on it. And went back out there. Yeah. <laughs> just tape it to the whatever finger that is, ring, ring finger, finger, and uh, kept on going because it didn't hurt that bad. Right. But I found out later that it was fractured. Mm. Well, I broke my I broke my left wrist too in a motorcycle accident. It oh, was yeah. like it was like a little bit sore, but it did not feel like a broken bone. Oh yeah. yeah. Huh. I've also like broken my collarbone. That felt like a broken bone. Oh my bone. gosh! Yeah, <laughs> crazy. You say I broke my collarbone. That one definitely felt broken. <laughs> yeah, that would hurt. <laughs> you want to hear something disgusting? Yes. I I used to work at the hospital at Freeman. You I was breaking pay- HIPAA rules right now. Huh? You're gonna break HIPAA violations? Oh right fuck! Now? Never mind. Don't say anybody's name. But you oh can, yeah, I can't going. say any names. But uh, uh, this guy did Morgan tell me. Freeman. Morgan Freeman? Yes, Morgan Freeman. Oh, God. Um, nah, this one guy. Uh, you hear all kinds of stuff working at Freeman. Uh, mm-hmm. As a patient transport, they're just telling you all kinds of crazy stories. Why they're there and some other stuff. Well, I was transporting this one guy, and I love working with patients. They're always high as a kite mm-hmm. and in a great mood, even though they're in the hospital. Uh A lot of the time, not always, but this guy was, and he told me why he was there, and I wish he hadn't. Uh, He was laying down on the bed. He went in for an x-ray, and he was telling me, like, how it went, and I'm making small talk, and he explains what happened. He's a bull rider. Oh, shit. He's a bull rider, and... uh, You're going to tell me he caught a horn up the ass, didn't you? Is that what happened? Oh, Tell me that's what happened. No, that's not what happened. Oh, okay. I'm no. sorry. Keep he going, wishes. keep going. No, what happened was he was riding it, and it bucks. He goes up in the air. He's still on. He's still holding on. He comes back down on that bull, and uh, he feels like a, a snap, a pop. Mm. <laughs> I know <laughs> he this feels, is going. He feels a snap and a pop, and <sighs> uh, like emptiness in his stomach. Like, like he just drained. So he got bucked off. He fell off. Ugh. And um, he realizes uh, that his hips aren't right. And that his scrotum's swollen. Well, what happened was uh, he split his pelvis right in two. Ooh. It tore the lining. And all of his intestines seeped into his scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor no, guy, not, man. Ooh, no, it didn't. Shit. It didn't smell like a balloon. <laughs> but fucking bull riding, so hardcore, man. Yeah, I don't know how people are so didn't. crazy. <sighs> oh, jeez. I felt nauseous after that. After oh, he told yeah. me that, I didn't feel very good. So I would have to, I would have had to walk out of the room. Yeah, <laughs> at the end of that, I was like, hold on. Ooh. Yeah. As the doctor, I would have just walked in there and be like, "So you want us to kill you, right?" <laughs> yeah. 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 Where do we even begin? Like, yeah. I we think... got lethal injection. We got bullets. <laughs> we got bullets. Oh my gosh. That's gnarly. But I imagine he's fine uh, because he was. I can't remember. He was explaining everything in that he felt pretty optimistic about 
return. He's not going back to bull riding, obviously. That's done now. got to hop back on that horse. Yeah, no, that's gone. <laughs> um, Horrible. But yeah. So you go pig riding now. <laughs> yeah. I actually See, Googled it. way more manageable. Yeah. I actually Googled it. It's a thing that can happen to you where there's a lining that protects your stomach from that area. And it, it can happen to people normally. And uh, funny enough, I met a second person who'd done something similar. But they didn't even break their pelvis. It was just a thing that just happens. Like a like a hernia almost. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. And That's he crazy. all he does is he takes his fingers and he just shoves it back up in there. Mm-hmm. And he goes back to the doctor and they stitch it up. So it happens very early to this person. Yeah. It's something that can't really be healed. You have to put a mesh inside <sighs> of you. I know about meshes, bro. Really? You yeah. have one too? Yeah. Like Yeah. Not down there. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, how bad yeah. does it hurt? Whenever you like sneeze or cough or whatever, um, whenever, whenever it happened. Um, I don't know. I don't know when it happened. That's the thing. I just know mm. that like I had it and then it got a little bit worse. And then mm. I got told by a friend that she waited too long and it, it became cancerous. And I'm like, that what? is the craziest shit I've ever heard. So I immediately went to the doctor and got it. <laughs> it was like within a week, dude. Yeah, I'm there, like, bro. okay, I'm going to not get cancer now and just get this taken care of. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would too. Yeah. You learned a lot of stuff being pharmacy technicians, dude. Yeah. That was over 10 years ago at this point, man. Yeah. yeah. Damn. God, it's yeah. been that long. But yeah, they used the mesh as well. And um, initially, it was pretty, like, swelled out. But it, it did go down. And uh. then... Um, I don't know. I get some pain here and there, but it's not, it's not like as bad as it was or anything. That's good. Yeah. You can do ab workouts and it's not, you don't feel a da- danger of it just popping out. Right. Like good. a screen window. Yeah. Like a screen window. <laughs> it's more like if I do a lot of like extraneous activity and maybe my abs were involved, maybe I'll have a little bit of pain. Here oh, and there, yeah. You know? Interesting. It's mainly probably because of the scar and yeah. all that. Huh. The scars remind us the past is real. Yeah. But I was yes. thinking, uh, did so you get to bitch. see that dude's dick? Do what? Did you get to see that dude's dick? No, not his, but I've seen many dicks there. I mean, the whole, in, like, because it was like his intestines were in his dick, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, his, his, his scrotum, yes. Okay, just his balls. <laughs> it by, yes. It bypassed okay. his yeah. dick. Went straight to the scrotum. It's like, yeah. man, I wish uh-huh. he was like... Dude, just leave my dick big. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Part of that intestine in my dick. Yeah. yeah. Doctor, you can leave some uh, of that large intestine. Like, oh. Right. <laughs> I don't need all that. <laughs> in my stomach. <laughs> I need it in somebody else's stomach. If you get right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Man. Pretty crazy stuff. I've told the story many times, but I, wa- I when I worked at the hospital, I walked into this room, dude. And there was a guy laying on the table. He looked fine. Mm-hmm. I walked in there, and he, he like someone had took an ice cream scoop and scooped out his big toe. <sighs> it was just a perfect scoop of big toe gone. Really? Yeah, it was gnarly, dude. And I, I was, I, I was like, uh, uh, yeah. And I walked out of it, and the nurse was like, "Yeah, he's got diabetes, dude. His uh, toe just fell off. Just mm-hmm. falls off, it just man. Scooped right off. Yep, scooped it out." As wild. Yeah, if you don't take care of that shit, it will fall off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah don't play with diabetes. No. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No. Nah. Man, speaking of scars reminding us that the past is real, <laughs> where's the best place for, like, what, what is the most badass place for a scar? The penis. Because there's a, I was reading Invincible, and there's a, there's an <gasps> the invincible. comic? Yeah. Yeah. Have you read it? Oh, yeah, dude. I read okay. it all. So there's a bad guy that shows up on Earth. He's a Viltrumite, and he's yeah. got a giant scar that goes from like one side of his head all the way up his eye, and then like wraps around his forehead and goes to the side. Is that and Thrag? He, it might be. No, it's not Thrag. Oh. It's the old man, old man Viltrumite oh. that just wants carnage. But conquest? Uh, yes, conquest. conquest, conquest, yes, yeah. Where, the whole time I was reading, I was like, "This guy's got a sick ass scar." Where's yeah, the dude. where's the where's the coolest place for a scar? Oh man. Uh, I think it's Anakin's always, got it made. It's always yeah. the eye. It's always the face. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, something that goes through the eyebrow, for sure. Yeah. I was thinking, like, you know, you get your lips ripped off in, like, the bottom half of your jaw, and <laughs> oh then it's just, gosh. like, you know, scarred over up here, and you just got yes. the top teeth going <laughs> and you can on. Like, oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, that's the best guy. I can think of the face <laughs> one, but also, like, if you took... 
a different arm or like somebody else's arm and put it on your arm and like oh. the scarring of like stitching that arm to you that would be sick that would be crazy so like um the main character in that fallout show when she gets her new finger or whatever oh, yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's so cool lucy yeah. yeah lucy i like that uh-huh so frankenstein's monster yeah frankenstein yeah. scars and face scars that's so it gets the chicks. Yeah. <laughs> now is the star it is the star is the scar cooler if you're if it's like down if it's like this across your uh, eyebrow and down your face is it cooler if your eye is gone or is it cooler if it dodged your eye? That's okay. either way, man. I think it's leave the eye white. You yeah. Get the blind the blind eye in. I think it makes it more hardcore looking having the the, the dead white, eye, the yeah, white, the white eye, eye, whatever. Mm-hmm. Or, or an eye patch. patch. I don't know. Not, yeah, an eye patch. Eyes completely gone. You've got a new, like, cyborg eye type thing going yeah. on right there. Like cable or whatever. Right. Ooh, okay. yeah. Okay. He's got that scar, too. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. He does have that scar. Cable's sick. Mm. I fucking love cable. Cable, cable. is sick, dude. <laughs> but he's being controlled by Mr. Sinister. We don't uh, like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, is there, like... Is it cool if you have like a giant scar going all the way down your arm? What if it's like what claw marks? Like? Right. It, it's like three jagged. Yes, yeah, deep <laughs> enough something. to where you can almost see your bone. Like it's never Ooh, fully healed that man, much. Yeah. You ever see the scars of people getting struck by lightning? Uh, uh, <laughs> scars? Yeah. People get struck by lightning and it, they basically get like straight up tattooed. Of like a, just a crazy design, like going all the way down their body, kind of looks like trees. I thought those you know, were like bruises, trees. like a weird like. I've seen scars. Mm-hmm. I guess it's like <laughs> burning. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah probably, probably getting yeah, yeah probably getting branded almost like branded in basically oh, brand. That's yeah. crazy, dude. And then that's gonna scar, of course. Yeah, lightning is very hot. Mm. I went to high school with this kid that had touched a live power line when he was a kid. And it got him so hard it blew his hand off. Fuck. What? Yeah, man. Blew his yes. hand off. Yeah. It didn't he, kill him? No. And he got, he, got a, he got a fat settlement, and now he owns a, a string of uh, pawn shops. And a robot hand? No. Which, which just hand? A club. Just oh, a club. That's yeah. cool. Or a hook. Mm-hmm. What, uh, which hand? I want to say it was his left hand. But it probably Ooh. was his right. Knowing a kid, why would a kid just grab with his non-dominant hand? But right. I can't remember. Was, this was wild, like when dude. I was in like eighth grade, ninth grade. So, dude, electricity time. scares me. Fuck yeah, dude. My, yeah. yeah. My first advice my dad gave me, first experience with electricity was my dad working on a, a uh, electrical box. And he explained, you know, how electricity works. And he told me. Like, okay, this thing is ancient as hell. It was in the garage or barn or whatever it was. And if I start seizing and shaking, don't touch me. Just kick the shit out of me <laughs> until I drop or fall over. Break the chain. But yeah. Don't, don't with the soles. It. Yeah. With the sole of your foot. Your and uh, I was like, I don't want you to touch that. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> that was oh, terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just leave it? Yeah. <laughs> do we in need our, electricity? <laughs> in our school, um, there was a senior. I, I don't remember what grade I was in. I was probably like in middle school still. But we had a senior. He like got into electrician work and stuff. And he was working on like a kind of like a well. I think a well or something like that. Mm. So super dangerous environment for electrical work. And he... Ended up getting electrocuted and passed away. Ooh. So that was like a real strong message across like our school and stuff and community. Ground yourself. Yeah. yeah. B Mac was he, he was his name was Brandon McKibben, but mm. we call everybody called him B Mac. No, uh, as an honor for his name. But gotcha. how old is he? He was probably like in his probably eighteen, seventeen. Man, what happened? Man, that yeah, electrical stuff, especially with housing, like housing electrical stuff. I'm scared of like I won't do it, but like cars and stuff. Even then, I'm still like when it comes to car batteries and stuff, I still get scared. I'm always scared of them blowing up. Whenever I'm trying to jump a battery, I'm like, 
Yeah, I'm don't want sure I did this right. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure you get the yeah. right ones. I've yeah. done that where you get a reverse and like it, it, yeah. yeah it, I got lucky it did not blow up. <laughs> that's good. It started smoking and I was like, oh, that's not good. Yeah, so I unplugged it and I was like, oh, I had the wrong way. It plugged it the right uh, way. Oh yeah. But if that battery would have exploded, it would have like destroyed the grill of that truck and what about my clothes and the myself. battery acid <laughs> getting <clothes>. everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my clothes. Yeah. You ever like carried a battery against your clothes, like a used battery or something like that? Oh yeah. And then like oh, you put yeah. it down and you look later, your clothes are like pretty much gone. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it sucks. No, hmm. I've never done that. Really? Well, I guess yeah. I'll do it next time though. <laughs> mm. Man. Mm. Steven, dude. Yes. We have a crashing with friends questionnaire. Gotcha. And I'm gonna rapidly go through these. Oh god. And uh, you just be honest or as dishonest as you want, okay? Okay. What's the best sandwich, Stephen? The best sandwich. A, uh, a torta. A Mexican sandwich is freaking good. What is it? The Cuban, the Cuban torta is my Ooh, favorite. Okay. It is really stinking good. It's like a, uh, a sandwich with... Uh, I can't remember the meat. I want to say it's beef... It's got some, uh, I believe, some goat cheese, uh, avocado. It's got beans. It's got guacamole, and I think it has. And it's got you know lettuce, tomato, uh, onions diced up in there. I want to say it has sour cream. Freaking good! One of my favorites. At first, you had my curiosity. Yeah. That's uh huh. That's wild. Yeah, yeah really good. <laughs> yeah, it is stinking good. Also, what do you consider a hot dog? Oh, dude, we're not gonna get. We're not gonna this. get to that. Okay, okay. But just for just for posterity's sake, I consider it not a sandwich. A hot dog. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys consider it? Uh, a hot dog. A hot dog. Yeah. I just had a uh, a hot dog called a completo, a complete or whatever. It's basically everything on a sandwich, but on a hot dog, and it's freaking delicious. I'd say hot dog Lettuce, is closer tomato. to a taco than anything else. Personally. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a specialty. Bread, you know, mm-hmm. some meat, yeah. Mm-hmm. We've, look, we've known each other for over 30 years. <laughs> I've never heard you say this. <laughs> I would <laughs> I'd put hot dogs more in the sandwich category because they're kind of oh. like Subway. It's a oh, sub- subway just sandwich. sideways. It got the exact same kind of fucking loaf of bread split down the middle. Yeah, it's just a hot dog. It's like just a you could put it by yourself or with some ketchup and whatever. Okay, it's just a small sandwich. So, but you, you gotta, <laughs> if you, you yes. cross that line, yes. a hot dog <laughs> is just those buns. Then yes, it is a sandwich. But if you uh, don't cross that line <laughs> and you leave the buns connected, then it's still okay. taco format. They don't taco do that in subway all the time either. <laughs> yeah, when they leave the bread connected at Subway, I get pissed. So when the oh. bread is still connected at Subway, it's a hot dog now? <sighs> no, it's more I love taco this. fashion. <laughs> <Why are> you, <laughs> I'm so Why sorry you, I started this. <laughs> Why are you eating subs at Subway? I haven't eaten a sub at Subway. In- so the, your argument's based on a lie. <laughs> okay. Not my argument. I'm just saying any sub in general. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know. To me, I feel like a hot dog is just a bologna sandwich in a different form. You know? It's the exact same thing. Now that's intriguing. It's just the exact same thing. That's just a, <laughs> It's a different take. Yeah, just in a different but form. Do you microwave the bologna? Do I microwave the bologna? Do you microwave the bologna? Sometimes I cook the bologna on a frying pan. Do you cook that hot dogs good. on a frying pan? It can be done. And I have done it. <laughs> <laughs> I've done bratwurst on a frying pan. I've done that before. Yeah. Bologna just disgusts me. I don't even. uh, Are bologna. Is is bologna and hot dog the same thing? I don't know. I don't don't think it is. Yeah. Because when I eat bologna, I don't taste hot dog. When I taste. When I eat a hot dog, I don't taste bologna. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they seem to be different. They seem to be different. What's the difference between spam and a hot dog? God, I don't know. I don't know I don't what know. spam is made of. But the different brands of, of spam can taste different, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. I think I like the great value, which is shocking to me because I normally don't like great value anything. Mm. Upper crust person, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. 
I don't eat spam because I'm afraid of gout. <laughs> I think that's a real threat. I've heard a lot of guys get gout. What right? did you just say? Gout? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from from what? From just eating a lot of like canned meats and stuff, specifically spam. Now you got Steven yeah. scared. I've seen Dude, I eat a lot of meat from cans. <laughs> I've got like a couple people that's gotten gout. I've, I like, thought, I've always asked him like, "How do you get that?" And he's like, "Keep it up." It's like, Wait a just minute. Keep it up. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is gout again? It's when like your feet swell and stuff, and it makes it like really hard to walk. They get really sensitive and oh. stuff. And the only yeah. way to get it to go away is to stop eating so much spam and like canned meats and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby Hill. I was about to say it. Bobby Hill got it on yeah, the episode of Came Out. Wasn't it that Greek place? Can you or treat? Something? I don't know. He went to like one specific oh, shop yeah, all the time. He, he was like, "I can't stop eating liver, like clam chowder yeah. and stuff like that." I think yeah, and livers. Yeah. yeah. What? Is it? Can you treat gout? Yeah, it's just you got to adjust your diet. That's oh, okay. The only way to do it. For some reason, I was thinking gout was like this World War One disease you get on your foot from like running around with wet feet and no, trench, foot. Trench, foot. trench foot. That's what I'm thinking of. I thought that was just another fancy. No, I'm afraid of trench foot as well, man. Horrible. That's why I don't run around in the sounds mud. so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. That's why I don't go to any World War One thing. Yeah, I always I'm picture scared. World War One in trenches and wet mud. I, I think a gout. I don't know why. Like, that's why yeah. we've never been to the beaches of Normandy. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> scared of gout. Get, get, get get out. Out. I don't want to get one. I'm eating well, I mean, meat from a can. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them did that during World War II. Right. Oh, gout yeah. Gout trench fit. <gasps> You're right. Imagine yeah, that like, combo. A lot of potted Ooh, meats. Right. When we uh, yeah. first started doing a lot of disc golf tournaments, we didn't have waterproof shoes. So what would happen is we'd start in the morning, our feet would get super wet, and then we'd have to play another round. And mm. if we didn't have socks, your feet literally were getting to that trench foot state. And it was like all soggy and like nasty. Dude, take hurt your shoes walk. off. Take yeah, your feet off. To walk. Take your shoes off and they'd be like white. Oh. Yeah. Just from over swellage of. <laughs> that's just one, yeah. day, one day of disc golf. Like, it's crazy. I think a dude. week of that would do to your feet, man. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. That's why some days if it's like super wet or rainy, mm. whenever I'm working, I'll. Put on my rain boots on because mm-hmm. right? yeah. I just don't want to deal with that all day. Yeah, mm-hmm. the worst the worst I've ever had that was when I went to Six Flags as a young kid, and I in my head I was like I want to do the water rides first <laughs> so I'll be oh, dry okay. by the time I leave. Well, everything does dry except for my shoes. They yeah. stay very soaked the entire time, and yeah. as we were trying to walk to the car, like. I was like begging for people to like, like, dude, and you? help me to the car. I can't. <laughs> it's so hard to walk right now. <laughs> and once I finally got to the car, peeled off my socks, like my feet were like just straight, pure, as white as I've ever seen, like Oof. any skin on my body. And Dang. the bottom of my feet, like skin was already peeling off. Oh, Ooh, boy. Damn, dog. Dang, dude. That's scary. Pretty like hardcore. Yeah. Onions, how layers. But I wanted to stand. <laughs> I wanted to stand against the bars as the toboggan was coming down. Oh so, yeah, oh yeah, it's toboggan. Yeah, I wanted to get hit by that big old wall of water. Right. I've been to, well, I've been to Silverado City with you. You still like that? <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> <laughs> we see you. All right, another question. If you had the ability to catch something on fire right now, what would you catch on fire? Oh dang! What would I catch on fire? What was the first thing that popped into your head? A car. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> werewolves, zombies, or vampires? Which one would you make real? Uh, werewolves. Why? Because uh, vampires scare the shit out of me. If For they were reason. real. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's one of those things. Werewolves, I feel like, would be easy to spot. Not. <laughs> because it's a ravenous dog i know it's like okay that's a big dog that's that's bad we got to kill that we can't let that yeah. go mm-hmm. easy to protect yourself from yeah yeah a vampire they come around More. only during full moons a vampire yes. can disguise you can prepare. as a politician yeah. and get up in the white house all in the politics yeah. oh yeah no vampires are what dangerous. was that game uh 18 <laughs> wolfenstein or? wolfenstein there's werewolves and Did, you're talking about you're talking about the order we 1886? Ordered. Yes, 1886. Mm-hmm. Like that, okay. where the vampire was in power and uh, 
and that game starting. was supposed to be so good. I know, mm. and it was so short, but the graphics are freaking yes. insane. Still to this day, that those PS4 graphics are like top notch uh-huh. graphics. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, vampires, just parasites. And it's hard to tell sometimes. Kind of maybe who knows. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be the, the, you want them all to just have their fangs sit you know over their lips yeah. so you can be like yeah. vampire definitely vampire. Yeah. yeah it'd also be cool to go hunt some werewolves with the boys you know with the yeah. boys yeah. 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 Let's get some highs, bro. <laughs> yeah i think and i've always been more of a fan of werewolf movies than vampire movies anyway so lichens yeah uh-huh would you join the pack the brotherhood mm. are you ready to join the brotherhood oh what kind of werewolf though because there's so many different kinds the ones, um, the ones from yeah, London. I think I would. I would join. We're all the London. Yeah, because then I know, like, okay, it's my month. It's my time of the month. <laughs> I'm just gonna month. get a whole bunch of junk food and snacks and my favorite movie, and my just month, stay my home. Pack. Yeah, like the, <laughs> yeah. Like the music video from uh, Bullet from My Valentine's Waking the Demon. Oh the yeah. Calendar. Yeah. I get bullied. Yeah. <laughs> the, the full moon. It's like, all right, time to get back in that work, bully. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's been stealing my lunch for a while. Right. Now. I'm the werewolf today. Yeah. yeah. I'm the apex today. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite curse word, bro? Cunt. Whoa. Am I allowed to say that? Say whatever you want, man. Okay. Whatever the heck you want. Okay. I just love it. Awesome. Yeah. As long as that it's not favorite. racist. As long as it's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. No, that was my favorite because it's more shocking because you don't hear it very often. Dude, it it's hits like a knife, yeah. dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's I think it's my favorite. Like as soon as you, yeah. Well, it's crazy as soon as you get to Australia. It's like, it's cheese over there, man. No one cares. Yeah. I wonder, oh, my God. What's up? <laughs> I oh, wonder what's God. their favorite. <laughs> or or what's shocking to them uh, for a curse words? That would be know. a good topic. Yeah. Be interesting. Mm. But yeah, that's my favorite word. My favorite curse word. When's the last time you actually used it against somebody? Um, <laughs> never. I've never used it on somebody uh, seriously. I've only used it jokingly. And, when and you always say it, with an accent. Say, Every do time. you say it with an Australian accent? Every time? Every time. Oh, I cut? Yep, yep. <laughs> All right. That hurt always. like a cunt. Is that what you say? Yeah. Cool. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Oh, God, my cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Watch God. My cunt. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, my cunt's gaping. Gaping. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, man. You have to cut off a limb because of the snake bite. Okay. Which limb are you cutting off? My left hand. Do you think you could actually do it? Could I do it? Yeah, yeah. I think I could. Really? I think I could. Just keep putting rubber bands on your wrist. <laughs> I've been <laughs> snaps. Exactly. Like those, those oh yeah, kind of like a skin tag from school. <laughs> just shaped, skin just tag. wait for it to fall off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Is that how skin tags work? Uh, wait yeah. for it to fall off. I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What is the best flavor? The best flavor? Um, maple. What is the best artificial flavor? Grapeple. Grape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, artificial flavor? Um, banana? Like, I was going to say, because like banana doesn't taste like banana, but no. it's its own thing. It's its own thing, but it's still good. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. <laughs> we were talking about the podcast. Good. Um, I gave Matt one of these peach alanis. It doesn't taste like real peach, but God, I love the fake peach taste. I don't know yeah. what the deal is with fake peach. Right. Peach rings are pretty huh. good, man. They hit. Especially those. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Peach rings. And the Haribo gummy frogs, those are peach flavored as well. Mm. Huh. Never had this before. Gummy frogs. Bounce. Gummy frogs. If you could switch places with someone, who would it be? Trump. President Trump. No shit. Why? Yeah. I don't know. It was the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> Who would I seriously <laughs> trade places with? Um, go to the God, man. That would be an awesome Freaky Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially if it's like only for like a weekend or something. What'd you get that Bernie's kind of deal? Huh? He gets, he gets oh, yeah. Your body and watch you on the news, like just right. fucking everything up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've come out as gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have to. I'm the master of sucking cocks. Everyone knows. <laughs> I've I built four mansions for the immigrants. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm yeah. breaking down my wall. Right. 
He's out Ted there. Cruz, I've got him to finish him. He's out there by the wall with a sledgehammer. <laughs> right. With some immigrants behind him. I don't know. Maybe Xi Jinping. That'd be fun. That'd be really fun, I think. <laughs> Let my people go. I know, right? <laughs> Just nice. We cool with Hong Kong now. Yeah. Good. Taiwan. Real close with yeah, it. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. Tenement Square never happened. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're a centaur now. What's the first thing you do? The first thing I do? Uh, find pants. Uh, I'm a centaur. <laughs> probably. probably. <laughs> find pants. <laughs> I need what, special tailored cent- pants for <laughs> kind of centaur, centaur pants. Size? Yeah. Four legs, please. Yes. Someone get me in touch with Shaq's Taylor. Yeah, <laughs> Shaq's Taylor. He'll know what to do. <laughs> I, first thing I would do is I get a bow and arrow and just role play the shit out of that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you got any arrows where the arrow part are hearts? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> arrow head hearts. Yeah. All right, you're a master hacker. Who are you hacking first? Ooh. I'm a master hacker, and I would hack... I don't know. Donald Trump. The Diddy Donald files. Trump, yeah. Smart GCP. fridges to play porn. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I would hack China. Because they're always hacking everybody else. You're like, how do you so, like it? How do you like it? Hack away. All right. Dear God, some man named Stephen has right. hacked into our database. Yeah. Oh, no. I know what I would do. Okay. I would hack. Um, who has that really powerful supercomputer, the AI with the AI? Uh, right now, IBM. it's NVIDIA. It's in it's IBM. 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 I would hack that, and I would try to create Shodan. I would definitely try to create from Shodan System Shock? from System Shock and see <laughs> oh, okay. what happens. Yeah, dude. God, Shodan. You sound like Excellent. me during the 2016 like presidential. Right. Race. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead and pick Trump. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. They just announced there's a new Stephen Kohler biopic movie coming out. Who's playing you in the biopic movie? Uh, Jason Momoa. <sighs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I ask? Our own. Can I ask which version? Like first season Game of Thrones version, or Star- Star- in the Fast and Furious, or Stargate Atlantis? Version? Stargate Atlantis. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How did I know? Yeah. Like, oh, Stargate God. Atlantis. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you've seen that. Yeah, dude. Nobody that I talked to have seen Stargate. Bro, you watch SG things? One? Huh? SG One as well? Or? SG One. I've seen. All. Okay. Sweet. I've seen them all. Uh, Even the that? Uh, what's that weird one where the makers of Battlestar Galactica and uh, Stargate people came together? They made it's like continuity. Uh, it's, no, where they get trapped on that ship and it's traveling around yeah, making yeah. more Stargates. Um, I forget what it's called. Caprica? But yeah, no, 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 it's another Stargate show. Yeah, it's not oh, Stargate. Okay, no, continuum. 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 Yeah. Yes, it's but it's like Battlestar Galactica format. Or style, kind of, which is very different. As big a nerd as we are, our dad is like way bigger of a nerd. So really, like, it, we, it was like Monday nights at our house was like Stargate nights because oh, they, they had like marathons yeah. on sci-fi. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, we were big into Stargate and all that mm. stuff. My, yeah. My older brother got me into that stuff. He was my older brother is ten years older than me. Mm. I'm eight. I'm 28, so he's 38. So it's like he was able to get me into. He tried to get me into Star Trek and battle like Battlestar and uh, Stargate. I had yeah. a hard time with that stuff. I'm mainly ate yeah. of, <laughs> mainly ate of like Star Wars and yeah. other shit. Huh. The easier to digest stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I was That's always awesome. like a I was a huge Tilk fan when I was a kid. Who really? Like Tilk? Oh, yeah. yeah, especially now Tilk. that he's Kratos. Yeah. Indeed. Oh yeah, Kratos. Boy. He's came a long way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Christopher Judge, man. Hell. Man, I saw Christopher Judge on the. Uh, Remember that one show? I, I I think I tried pushing it on you like not so long ago. It was uh, 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. It's uh, that British panel show where they play a game with numbers and letters, but it's just funny the whole time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, Christopher Judge was on it like not too long ago, and he was fucking funny. Huh. He was really funny. He was very like, charismatic. Yeah, they asked him, he was like, mm. do you think we could ever, uh, or uh, the U.S. will ever want to make this show like over there? And he's like, nah. <laughs> it's like no, people, like uh, people in America, we don't. They don't like clever. They don't like clever. If you if you're clever in America, they just say, "Well, get to the funny part." <laughs> mm, yeah. 
Yeah, he's got a point. All right, Steven. Mm. Would you want to be the best at a sport, but everybody hates you, or be the worst at a sport, but you're the most loved? Uh, the most loved. Really? I would rather that. You're the first person to answer that way. Really? The first? I think, thought, I, I think I yeah. gave that same answer, but I was never actually given the question. We were I never given the question, I think. Question, and we never will. <laughs> so I don't a lot know. about you, Steven. Yeah, I guess I'm just comfortable with failure. And I guess I don't... <laughs> uh, it sounds super sad. You're still, be a, you're still a pro NBA player. Right. Yeah, I mean, dude, that's awesome just to be there. Like, hey, right? I get to play here. I'm not very good, but they chose me. Mm-hmm. Like, heck yeah, dude. And everybody loves me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like Gardner Minshew. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. He's not a good quarterback, but everyone like, right. talks about him. It's like, I love Gardner Minshew, man. Right. Same yeah. time kind of life. Yeah. 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 It's kind of hard to, Bow. I don't know, Bow. live life if everybody hates Bow. you. You know? Uh, even if you're very Bow. successful or skilled. Bow. and if But if everybody's kind of against you or... Slandering you or always trying to Matt, give you bad, get bad publicity. I don't, I don't know. That just seems like too stressful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd yeah, rather I mean, suck at something and be loved. Yeah. I just felt yeah. like he should have had so much hard life playing the in the time. background. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's gonna play back really good. Man. Yeah, it's, right. it's gonna hit. <laughs> what animal do you want to be friends with? Like. Really good friends. Really good friends? Yeah. Um, Best friend. A cheetah. We get that answer a lot. A cheetah? Really? Yeah. I don't know. Some kind of dangerous, like a wolf or a lion. But I'm going to be honest. Those big cats scare me. Wolves don't yeah. scare me as much because it's easy for me to tell signs for dogs that they don't want me around. Mm-hmm. And it's, then I can easily like back out of it. But for a cat, I don't know. Yeah, They're crazy. Man, hard um, to read. Wolves actually, they probably would hunt you. Huh? <laughs> they, they will hunt you. Unless right, you yeah. Them, it's first. Yeah, but I mean, say, yeah, assuming... Yeah, you get a finger in one of their butts real quick. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Just bite the ear. No, um, leave me alone! This yeah. one's the pack leader! <laughs> 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 but yeah, I think it would be one of those, those animals. Okay. Who do you want to be deserted on a desert island with? Um... And why is it not your girlfriend? And why is it not my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. I love her to pieces. But uh, if we're going to be stuck on a desert island, I don't want her to go through that. Oh, man. I Good man. I like that answer. Good man. Tender um, Yeah. So who do you want to be stuck on a desert island? Um, I forget his name. Who's the uh, survivor that show? Bear Grylls? No, not him. Um, You're talking about the guy that lied about his grandma dying and then went that way? What? Isn't that oh, like the first or second no, season of Survivor? He he always uh, brings a harmonica and plays a harmonica, um, and he packs his own camera. Oh, okay. You're talking about Survivor the bald Man? Dude. Yeah, the bald guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's on Discovery Channel. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'd bring him because he seem or he seems legit to me. Coyote Peterson? No. Oh. I know who you're talking about. Whenever, the, yeah. whenever all that like Discovery Bear Girl stuff was going on, it was like it was yeah. Bear Girls Naked and Afraid and that guy's show. Yeah, why can't I remember him? What was that show that you and I were watching, Connor? It was like Dual Survivor or something like that. It was that one dude that was like the Marine guy and yeah. then the one hippie dude. Strange. I'd pick the hippie dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah the hippie that, dude. Yeah. That hippie dude would be. Dual. He just be the most chill guy to be out in the wilderness with. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> The first Marine guy I would choose, not the second guy. Not the second Marine guy. Because he lied about his resume or whatever, so they fired him. He still goes, by the way. He's got a YouTube channel and everything. Making uh, like, just lying to everybody now? He just lied to yeah. sur- I know almost everyone I know that has a job now lied on their freaking applications. Right. So. Yeah. I didn't lie. Yep. Matt, or not Matt, Steven. <laughs> yeah. You live in a world of crime. Yeah. A crime world. Crime world. What is your t- job in this crime world? Uh, what is my job? What's uh, your criminal life? Oh, my criminal life. Um, selling urine. 
<laughs> that's because that's, that's my good. my brother's idea. That's not my idea. I stole his idea. Is that actually even illegal? Just to uh, sell clean pee? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's very illegal. It is. Yeah. Bi- selling selling like bio, like it's not like to pass yeah. a drug test. It's not. It's not my business what they do with my clean pee. Well, I know that makes sense to you, but I mean, for the employer or whatever that's wanting to do the background check and and drug tests. <laughs> I mean, this is not your pee. This is Jackson's pee. It's not necessarily illegal. It's, <laughs> it's just like on the side. It's, it's just oh, we're not going to hire you. <laughs> kind of, you're not going to go to jail or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're fine. That's, yeah, that's that's all I was wanting to know. I was like, as far as I know, you can get fired for it, but yeah, yeah, there's yeah. There's no way that I mean, unless you're like. Trying yeah. to pass a drug test, like and you're yeah. on probation, then that's illegal. Right? Like, yeah. Then that's when you start. Well, that's plays well, that's where Steven real quick. comes can in. We sell it. Can you sell your own pee? And how much for five gallons, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that primo you, pee. <laughs> so would you sell it as primo piss? That's you would sell it as part. like a way for like criminals and like you pass drug tests. People that pass called drug the test. piss emporium. Oh. That's what he called it. <laughs> But you wouldn't sell it as like a, a you know as a, like the sexual how people use it as, for like sexual like throw this pee in my face. Kind of oh day, yeah. no, they can do it if they want. Then Once they parties. bite, it's theirs. Because like <laughs> when it's when it's sold, like it's sold as like a, you know a sexual play thing. You know you use mm. it in bed. Lots of fun. But a lot of people yeah. you know end up using it for drug tests. Really? That's so curious. That part I think is illegal. That like form of it like mm-hmm. using like, it as like for mm. the drug test or like pee on my chest kind of thing <laughs> but as like uh i forget what the word is but like using it for whatever bedroom fun whatever personal so you, life you guys want to know if it's legal to sell your pee or not yes okay it is not legal <laughs> people, <laughs> people found guilty of trafficking in urine are subject to three months imprisonment and a fine up to five hundred dollars. That's, a, that's, that's a hard bad. crime right there. Damn, yeah, that's dude. not bad. Let's start running some beef. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make that bail in like a week. Right. <laughs> we can just run the Dollar General offense. Be like, yo, we don't update our prices on the shelves, and we're fine with getting the fines because we make more than what the fines are. They, yeah. <laughs> right. Dollar General, they don't up. They run shady business practices, man. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, Steven. Yes. What horror movie would you be able to live in? What horror movie would I be able to live in? Oh, God. It's a tough one. That is a tough one. What horror movie would I be able to live in? First thing that came to mind was Aliens. That's a hard no. Um, (sighs) Oh, Predator. That's easy. Yeah. Yeah. I could survive in Predator. Mm-hmm. Just don't don't pick up a gun. Just or cover another. yourself in mud. Just You'd cover. be okay. Yeah. Lay out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just lay out. Yeah. <laughs> just wait there. What music genre best just stri- describes your whole thing, Steve? New metal. I love new metal very much. Like what? Mm. Uh, like the bands. Um, uh, Three Days Grace. Uh, Seether. Oh. Um, I can't think of any right now. I'm trying to think. There was a new one that I was... I think it's called Kings or something like that. Something that I just recently discovered. Mm. But yeah, new metal is my jam. Mm. Now let me ask you this. Mm. Do you fear death? <laughs> Do I fear death? Mm. Perhaps. <laughs> That's where the impression's getting worse every time. Do <laughs> <laughs> no, you fear death? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very religious, so I've pretend Danny thought about Jones asked you that question. Yeah. Do I fear death? Do um, you fear death? Uh, you no. That just got hit by a kraken in the middle of a thunderstorm. Kraken? No, I do not fear death. Okay. I'll take a slit throat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but what <laughs> truly scares you, Stephen? Heights. Ooh. Mm. Yep. I cannot. Yeah. Heights. I'm with you there, dude. And probably, yeah, open body to, bodies of water. Like, even if I know there's nothing in there, it what geeks about, me out. What about underwater shipwrecks? How do you feel about those? Underwater shipwrecks? That still geeks me out. That's my man. Mm. Yeah. 
I don't even like videos of people like standing at the top of buildings and then walking oh, towards the edge and just peering the camera over. Yeah. Fuck that, bro. I, I immediately start sweating. My, yeah, it makes my hands sweaty. Mm -hmm. What paranormal thing do you really believe in? What paranormal thing do I really believe in? So, and that's just exclusively like ghosts and poultry ice. Or, are we talking about like paranormal? cryptids? The Paralympics? <laughs> Paralympics? Um, <laughs> Paralympics? I don't believe. I don't believe in those. Paranormal. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not crazy. It's, it's normal. Para and it's normal. Yeah. Uh, I never watched the show Paranormal. Right. Uh, what What ones do I believe in? Yeah. Hmm. I don't believe in ghosts. Okay. I will say that. Um, I'm kind of there with you. Slave I've, ghost would have come back and fucked us all up. Mm -hmm. Slave ghost. Slave ghost, coast to coast. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not going to say that I don't believe in somebody who has had the experiences, you know. I'm just going to believe that they had very strange encounters that I cannot explain, but were not ghosts. <laughs> Okay, so do you believe in, like, aliens or anything like that? Do I believe in aliens? Damn, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. <sighs> yes. I do I do believe in aliens. But not... Okay. Not sentient Let me life? amend that. Huh? Sentient life? I do, believe, I do believe in sentient life other than humans. So Riding no dolphins? Yeah. Dolphins are made. But I mean, balls. like, advanced or intelligent. They just I'm don't have say, hands, bro. I mean. Oh, okay. I see where you're going with that. Yeah. They are. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> don't like trying to convince you that. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> we're, we're convinced that dolphins came from another solar system. So I take it you're a hitchhiker's fan. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Well, <laughs> that's awesome. Um,. I am religious, but I don't believe that it's, uh, I don't know, a lot of people think it's like magical or fairy tales or, or fantastical things. I think it's more of, more scientific, uh, so to speak. You know, I always hate it when people talk about religion and science as something separate or can be separate because... Uh, I don't. I think they're pretty close in hand. And I think of it more as an interdimensional kind of situation that we don't yet understand, you know. Or kind of like God or angels, so to speak, or on other planes of existence, if that makes any sense. That's how I try to rationalize it. It helps me understand it. I don't think that it affects the message or anything like that. I think a lot of people are thinking kind of like that recently. And oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. So I do believe in... So I will amend that first question. Paranormal? Uh, kind of, yes. In that regard. Yeah. And with yeah. aliens. And like a higher power in another form yeah. of existence. Yeah, things that are hard for us to understand to see. quite yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things that make you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I imagine things like in old texts were described in a way that were easier for people to understand then and today. Because they just didn't have the knowledge to articulate, you know, mm -hmm. what's really going on. So, yeah, yeah, that's my my belief. Here's a way more serious question. Hmm. What cartoon animal is the hottest? Cartoon animal that's the hottest? Like yeah. sexually? Yeah. Uh, Which one gets y'all hot and bothered? I don't know. Probably, uh, uh, what was that, Space Jam? Lola. Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny, probably. She's the only one that people can ever even think of because it's like, <laughs> what, is, what is the other one? I, I don't know, but. What is the other one? Uh, uh, Roxanne Mary, from Goofy Movie. Mary Madeline from fucking uh, old school. Yeah. Robin I mean, Hood. are those actually hot, though? Huh? To certain people, maybe. Are they maybe hot? Hunter, to certain are people, they hot? Maybe. Maybe. Dude, the blonde girl in Goofy Movie is hotter than the Roxanne. Oh. The cheerleader? The, 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 I don't know if she's a cheerleader. She's got a black top on. She's with the cool dude. She's with no, the, the football about. player. Right. Okay. Have you ever been attracted to an inanimate object? Like a sexy lamp or something? 
No. That's interesting. What about what about, <laughs> what about a firearm? You have a special a firearm, firearm that you like that take I in, like take into the bathroom sometimes. Well, I mean, <laughs> I I like them, but I don't know on that level. Squeeze off a couple shells. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just won the lottery. What's the first frivolous thing you're buying? Uh, cheeseburger. A really nice cheeseburger. Wrapped in gold. Sound yeah. like, sound like mm-hmm. Tony Stark right now. Yeah. Like getting out of a cave. I want Burger King. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. If you had to pick a guy to marry, who would it be? If I had to pick a guy to marry. Yeah. I don't know. Gigi Ping? <laughs> I don't know why it's always them. <laughs> he will be I'll be wish. rich and in power. <laughs> who is Sasquatch to you? A uh, very distant cousin. <laughs> he is me. <laughs> yeah. If you could go back and change one event in history, not your own history, what would it be? Hmm. Go back and change something in history. You could be the hero or the villain. I could yep. be the hero or the villain. Mm-hmm. Oh, dang. You decide. I don't know. I feel like when it comes to time, when you're messing with time, you always kind of could come out the villain. Yeah, mm-hmm. because True. easily butterfly, butterfly effect. effect. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> butterfly effect. Man, what Ripples would I do? In time. I no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not connected like that. <laughs> <sighs> What's the first thing that popped into your head, bro? Uh, the first thing that popped in my head was always involving me or helping me. Mm. I always think of Hitler. It says a lot about you, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't stop Hitler if that's, that's yeah, prob- probably not. Because I'm very confident I would not be born if I, and I'm very confident someone else just as much of a dick would show up, I'm sure. Mm, yes. Create a vacuum, someone will fill that hole. Yeah. yeah. Probably, there's probably rules on time about that. I'm sure. That's probably why we don't see it. You can't mess with great wars. <laughs> yeah. Great changes. What's some good advice that your 16 year old self would give you today? Great advice my 16 year old self would give me today. Mm-hmm. Um, great advice. I don't know. I was not all that wise. If your 16 year old self saw the way you were living today, what do you think they would say to you? Um, get a life. Probably, I don't know. It's like, yo, get that girl pregnant, dog. Have you tried getting more bitches? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. I don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I would say or what I would even think. I don't know. I'm glad you lived this long, buddy. There you go. That probably, uh, that probably. Help me turn around, you know, drinking alcohol, you know, like just cut that cold turkey. I don't know. I don't smoke or do drugs, so I'll probably exercise more, actually. Take my health more seriously. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Smart. What branch of the military would you join if we were in a galactic war with the insectoids? However you want it, man. I would like... I don't know. I'm just going to say a ground soldier, just a regular army. I'll just ground, join the army because I always figured that'd be cooler. Uh, that or a pilot, but I feel like it won't be as cool as like just a, a Normandy beach invasion, but on a freaking planet. Heck yeah, man. That'd be awesome. What kind of gun? What kind of gun? I don't know what kind of space, some kind of space AK, I think. Okay. Something heavy that hits hard. Okay. And the last question. Same to last question. Uh, I don't want Karn to jump me here in a second when I answer and I ask another one. Uh, What's a good movie that you want people to watch that is maybe obscure that you know people haven't really watched a lot? Man, I would. <sighs> There's several. I have several. What's the what's the, what's the one that you champion the most? That I champion the most. 
I would think Stargate. I think just the OG love, regular Stargate movie. Right? Yeah, the Stargate movie because I love the, the movie one. and the shows. The one with Kurt Russell. Yep, mm-hmm. the one with Kurt Russell. Yeah, definitely watch that before you watch the TV show. I know if you're gonna wa- watch that. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Uh huh. Okay, and the last question: oh. What is the sexiest noodle? The sexiest noodle? Are these real? Those are real noodles. Those are real noodles. Those are uh, noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have to go with the shell. The shell, huh? The shell. Just regular shell? I always think... You can fill it up nicely, huh? Yeah. You can get a lot of cheese with that. And other things. It yeah, just yeah. scoops it Cream. up, yeah. Uh-huh. Or, yeah, pasta sauce or something, you know? Some of that meat mm-hmm. sauce. Alfredo oh, yeah. sauce. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm. Man, that sounds tasty. Mm-hmm. Dang, I'm getting hungry now. Yeah, man. I'm getting hungry, too. <laughs> Me, too. All right, let's go ahead and move into Yo, Dude. Check this out. Yo, dude. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. Who wants to get us started? Uh, yo, dude, check this out. Uh, study proves black holes have a plunging region, just as Einstein predicted. Won't go too far into it, but uh, yeah, just some stuff about relativity and stuff being proven and all that pretty cool just yeah. check it out online plunging region black holes nice they do exist mm-hmm. I got a couple um, yo do check this out so you know windshields they have that black dot perforation thing at, like around the outside edge of a windshield mm-hmm. you know what those are for mm. I used to know what? you know what those are for uh, yeah. the, the black dots on the outside of a windshield I actually do know what those are for well, those black dots are basically like a heat dis- disruptor, kind of. They dissipate the heat and make it to where if it's... Because oh. a windshield, if it's too hot, it will ex- it will crack and explode. It will kill you. But those little dots just basically diffuse the heat and disperse it throughout the whole throughout the corners Ooh. and throughout everything. Yeah. Oh. Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> Yo, dude, check this out. Life expectancy at birth probably averaged only about 10 years for most of human history. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah. So I'm doing all right then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I'm alive. I'm, yeah. doing, I'm doing good. Right. That, that basically is just like giving me like, you know what, Jackson? You've made it past 10. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing awesome. That's crazy. Another yo, dude. Yo, dude, check this out. Did you guys hear that Adult uh, Cartoon Network is reviving Toonami again? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, dang. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a part of like Adult Swim for a long time. Now they're bringing it, they're separating it back to how it used to be. Yes, yeah, I heard it's supposed to have uh, Dragon Ball Z, Kai, mm-hmm. Naruto, <laughs> and yep. something else. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Yeah. yeah, it's going to start on May 31st on Cartoon Network. And it'll be a two-hour time frame like it used to be. Dragon Ball Z Kai, Naruto. I want Big O. Oh, yeah. dude. Give me some Big O. Like, That's I wish they so would do, hard. like, an X-Men 97 kind of thing and just oh, continue yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. with the Disney Plus. Yeah. Yeah, I need to sweet. finish next X-Men 97. It's so good. It is, dude. The, the scenes of finale was this week. It was really good. I've heard so many things about it, mm-hmm. unfortunately. It's fucking gnarly, especially the ending of it. Yeah. Anybody else got one? No, I got a lot of urine that I got to dispel, though, so if someone wants to purchase. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> you got a yo Steven? Uh, man. The only craziest thing I seen was uh, in a town called Kyle that you guys probably already know. In mm-hmm. Texas, where a bunch of Kyles get together, and mm-hmm. I think that's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and it was beat by, uh, I think, uh, Bosnians or Bolivians. Uh, I don't know the name of the town, but a bunch of Ivans. 
get together. Aww. Bastards. And they have the world record. There. Of like Ivan? over 2,000 people mm. named Ivan. That's I awesome. Feel like, I feel like I can do something with the mats. Oh, the yeah. World. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all need to unite. No. Uh, just get all the Muhammads. All, oh, my all God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to say something else. I was like, get all the Muhammads in one spot <laughs> and then turn that place to glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, man, that's been episode 138. Stephen Kohler. Heck yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. You're welcome. This was fun. Pleasure. I knew you'd enjoy it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Matt, we love you, dude. <laughs> I love you guys, too. <laughs> you again. Always great to have you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Anybody got any words of wisdom to leave us out on? Uh, don't pee in your dreams. You pee in real life. Ooh. <laughs> don't I know it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Turtles are crossing the road. You see, whichever way they're crossing, if you want to stop and pick them up, take them to whichever way they're facing and trying to run towards. Let them fuck. <laughs> That's what they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. They're just trying to get some turtle tail. They need yep. it. All the, ta- all the turtles you're going to see are going to be males as well. You see them on a road, they're males. There's no, females have no need to cross the road, man. The males are going to them. Oh. So. And Jackson, every time he picks up a turtle to make it cross the road, he lifts it over, penis, and then he puts it on the ground. Uh, he's got to make sure. Yeah. Is it a quick lick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sniff, sniff. Oh You're good to go, God. buddy. Oh, jeez. That's a good turtle soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's a prime turtle right there. Yeah. Yeah. Stop rubbing that turtle. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And until next time. See you next time. Peace. (laughs) (laughs) Until next time. (laughs) (laughs) Crashing with friends. Podcast.